Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and I'm working on a few cigar box guitars right now, and I'm getting ready to put side dot markers on this neck right here, so I thought I would show you a really cool way to add some nice looking side dot markers very inexpensively. Ah, who am I kidding? I mean cheap. There's a lot of different ways and a lot of different things you can use for side dot markers. On this guitar here, I used a solder, solder gun to burn the little dot markers in there. Here I use black plastic dot markers. And on this one I used white plastic dot markers. They come in these little packs. There's black and white. Like that. You just drill a hole and put them in there. Now this one here, I'm going to do something different. Right now I have the holes cut for my fret dot markers. I'm going to use these little plugs that I cut right here. That's going to go in for my those markers there. And the side, I'm going to use something different today. Now what I'm going to be using today as side dot markers on that guitar are these. These are little white wood dowels that I got in the craft section at Walmart. And just so we're clear, Walmart is not paying me to endorse this fine quality product. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this little awl here and I'm going to mark each place where I'm going to put one of these little dot markers. And I'm not going to measure anything, or I'm just going to eyeball it just like this. I'm going to try to go right into the center, like that, on each one. Just like that. Now, nowhere on this package does it tell you the size of this dowel. So, I messed around with a few drill bits and a scrap piece of wood and found out that the size is 3 30 seconds is the drill bit size for these little white wood dowels. Well, I have my holes marked right there where I'm going to drill into the fretboard. I have the 3 30 seconds drill bit installed into the drill press and I've got it set at about a quarter inch depth into the fretboard. And now I'm going to drill the holes. And there you go. Now that I have my holes drilled, I'm going to take my little dowel and I'm going to add them to the holes. Put a little glue. I'm just going to put the dowel in the glue. Push it in. And I'm going to snip it up, snip it off kind of high like that. And go to the next one. They're all in. Now we just let them dry. Might as well pick a tune while the glue's drying.
they should be good and dry now. There they are. They're sticking up a bit. So I'm going to take my little clippers here and just clip them off a little closer. Just like that. And now let's put it on the sander. Well, that's what they look like right now. I'm going to sand them level with the fretboard. And there you go. Looks good to me. Can't wait to see it finished. Here's a closer look at these dot markers. They came out really nice. The only thing about these is you really need to use them on a darker fretboard. This is walnut and they show up really nice. Well, let me know what you think of these very inexpensive side dot markers down in the comments. Before you leave, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. I want to thank everybody for their support. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.